Some of you have maybe wondered where I've been for the last three weeks. Been a little bit busy. Look how small these diapers are. Oh man. Everything's ready. How does it feel? Uh, I feel like even if I didn't have the C-section right now, I feel like maybe baby is still trying to get out because I'm getting all these like weird feelings everywhere. Yeah. This could be the last day you're ever you're pregnant. Are you nervous? No. I mean, I have to fight all those like suit, like everything's just happening so smoothly and everyone's being so nice. I just feel a little bit like... Too good to be true? Yeah. Everything's gonna be fine. Can't wait to meet you, baby. Today's kind of a big day. It's, it's basically as big as it gets. Uh, today's the day our family goes from three to four. Okay, you ready to go to Nani and Thoughtless, buddy? <laughs> Mama and daddy have to go to the hospital soon. I can't take all of those toys. I need some. That's too many. I need some. Okay, well, we're gonna have to put them in your backpack then. Is they heavy? Oh, good job. Let's see, turn around. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Daddy, I want, I want the T Rex Scooter. Oh. This is the last time it's gonna be just the three of us, buddy. Yeah. Today our family grows. Because four. Can we we go from three? To four. Are you happy? Can we kiss? One more hug for Coco. One more big hug. Aww. All aboard. Alright, bye buddy. Bye. I love you. Bye. See you later. Bye, Daddy. It's go time. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> what a weird time we're living in. You look like you're going to a restaurant, not to the hospital. <laughs> Looking good. Ready to go. Ready. We're at the hospital now. It's a little bit weird because of uh, COVID. Kai can't be at the hospital, so we had to drop him off or my mom picked him up and he's staying the night there. And uh, I'm gonna be sleeping on this couch, I believe. I'm not allowed to leave the hospital either. I have to stay here the whole time. Um, yeah, everything's good so far. Pretty relaxed. Feels like we're going on a trip or something, but uh, instead, <laughs> it's one of the most important days of our lives. It was a little bit different this time around because uh, we had a scheduled C-section uh, because of some of the complications that Princess had. So it was different. Dad, are you are you excited to be a big brother, buddy? Now I'm excited to be a Kai Kai. You're excited to be a Kai Kai. <laughs> it's 1:45. We got. Uh, just under two hours before the C-section. Here's our room. I assume this is where baby will be, or maybe this, I don't know. This is where Prince is gonna be. Whoa, we even have a TV. We did not have all that last time. I thought that that room was gonna be our room, but it was in our room. <laughs> that was just like a waiting room. The, the room that we stayed in was much smaller, much older. She's ready. Starting to feel real now. Yeah, I'm like a little bit nervous. <sighs> this mask sucks. It's so hard to breathe in. I'm all for a mask. Just this mask isn't very good. Because you don't know who you 229, 
We just got the ivy put in, which is yeah. the worst part for princess. Yeah. <laughs> they always say, oh, it's no problems. And we warn them that it's hard with princess. <laughs> yeah, well, this one only took two. That's like the least amount of tries, I think, so far. Yeah, no, that was good. With Kai, I think they tried like five or six times and yeah. your hands were just so swollen. I cried. You cried, yeah, you did. But I held your hand, your sweaty, sweaty hand. <laughs> But now it's done. First, first hard part is done. First hard part's done. I feel like there's like a handful of days that you will remember your whole life, you know, graduating school, getting your driver's license, getting married, having a kid. <laughs> that's that's gotta be like way up there. Uh, now I'm just waiting here by myself. They took Princess to the to the OR. They're gonna start prepping her. We're uh, we're a little bit off schedule. It was supposed to be like 15 minutes ago in there, but. Everything else is, is going well. It's weird. This is like a totally different experience when it's a when it's a scheduled C-section. Just like very chill, very calm. Everything's pretty easy, but I'm sure I'll get nervous at some point. What do I do now? What do I, what do I, what, do, what am I gonna watch? YouTube videos? All right, guys, it's go time. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, there. <it> is. <laughs> Meet Coco Ella Haboya. Seeing a human being come into this world is, it's an, it's an experience that you really can't uh, describe or show in photos or in videos. It's just one of the most surreal and wild experiences you will ever experience in life. And the, the instant unconditional love that you have for, for this little human, this little baby, it's just something that you can't explain. There was some slight complications with the C-section, but in the end, everything went well. Um, Princess and baby Coco were just fine, happy and healthy. And I was very, very relieved. Three at the hospital. We're heading home soon. Mm -hmm. We spent two sleepless nights at the hospital and then on the third day it was time to go home and it's it's really weird because you've been at this hospital and you've had doctors and nurses and all these people helping you take care of this this new human being this little baby and then all of a sudden you just got to go home on your own no adult supervision there's no instruction manuals and you just got to figure it out you are in charge of this human being
Coco has been in this world for exactly three weeks today, and it's been incredible, but also so exhausting and hard at the same time. But all I gotta do is look at Kai and imagine all of the amazing things to come with Coco and watching her grow up. It's just a great reminder that the best things in life, the things that are really good, take hard work, patience, perseverance, time, and a lot of sacrifice. Being a parent is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, but it's also one of the most rewarding ones. We are so happy you're here with us, Coco. We love you so much, and I love being your dad.